How's it going? Great. My name is Jasmine. Jasmine. Thanks for coming Thanks in for today. Thank you for having me. So I understand you own a construction company, you run F550s, and you're looking for an alternative as you get some work inside the city. So I would love to show you why the Isuzu is going to work really well for your business. As a business owner, you're considering the dependability, the durability, mm -hmm. and the cost of ownership of your trucks. So the Isuzu is absolutely perfect to meet on all of those needs. There's going to be some similarities to your F550, and there's going to be a lot of differences. Okay beginning with the cab. So the design, it's a welded metal, treated for corrosion, and the cab over design is going to be probably the biggest difference that you'll notice right away. It is set over the engine rather than the engine out front. The maneuverability of the truck becomes much better with that fact. Huge windshield. You'll notice that there are roof marker lights on top. The LED headlights will come standard. However, you can change out the roof lights to be LED as well as your cornering lights for LEDs. So your visibility at night becomes better, um, especially working within the city. So I'll take you around the side okay. and um, show you the large side windows as well. So the driver's gonna have so much more view of around him you have a large main mirror here and a convex mirror below it. These are retractable mirrors. Sometimes you have to pull them in in an alleyway or a parking space. Yes. So that's going to help there. I'll show you the wide door opening. Plenty of grab handles to enter the cab here. There's some storage. There is a nice step that is self-cleaning and it's rigid. You'll never slip falling in there. You have uh, three across seating in the standard cab if you have a larger crew. This is also where your windshield washer fluid is. Power windows and door locks there and heavy duty rubber floor mats. Very easy cab to clean. Coming to the back here, we have our antifreeze. We have our single stage Donaldson air filter and there is a cover to cover the back of the engine. You have your diesel particulate filter and the horizontal exhaust is gonna be standard, but if you're putting a flatbed on, there is an option for a vertical exhaust. So if you wanna blow that exhaust over your load, perhaps. And then we'll continue toward the back of the frame. It is a clean frame, riveted slots in the side, makes it easy to add toolboxes. These are gonna be 19 and a half inch wheels with all season tires in all positions and there is four-wheel disc brakes. Um, it's gonna handle very well in uh, inclement weather. They have ABS and traction control as well. Those disc brakes are not gonna wear as quickly as a drum brake. So you'll save a little bit in maintenance there. Great. Coming back to the back of the frame, so this wheelbase is 150 inches. This will accommodate a 16 to an 18 foot flatbed. Isuzu makes chassis where, I mean, you can have a bed anywhere from 10 feet up to 24 feet. So this Isuzu NRR, mm -hmm. our gross vehicle weight is going to be 19,500. So you can have a payload of up to 12,500 and from that you would subtract your body weight. The gross combination weight, if you're ever pulling a skid steer or a trailer, is 25,500 pounds. Okay. So great payload on this truck. Yeah. There's a body fitter up, or a up fitter connection on the back here. So if you've got lights and accessories on the flatbed, makes it easy for that company. This is a 30 gallon um, stainless steel in frame fuel tank. If you need extended range, you can add a dual fuel tank, which will be mounted on this side. So there's still room for toolboxes. We'll come around this side, Vince. On this side of the frame, we have a dual battery box. So there are two 750 CCA batteries inside. It is lockable. If you deal with theft in your area, that helps throw a padlock on there. You can upgrade to an 825 CCA absorbed glass mat battery. You have a heated 4.2 gallon depth tank next to that. An optional lockable cap. So again, siphoning, theft, it's happening. The fuel water separator is next to that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and flip the cab open for you. So, like I said, the engine is beneath it. Um, 
a couple different levers here, so I pull one, pull this other one to unlock it, and then just a simple lift here. And it's got some tension, so it's not gonna fly up on you. And there is a pin to keep it into place there with a little holder in case you're outside and it's windy. So this is a 5.2 liter turbocharged intercooled diesel engine by Isuzu. It's paired with a six speed automatic transmission by ASIN. Um, it has a B10 durability rating of 375,000 miles. So 90% of Isuzu chassis with this engine are gonna make it to 375,000 miles without needing an overhaul. So that durability, that dependability, mm -hmm. it's all there. The oil change intervals for this truck are gonna be 10,000 miles. And a Suzu actually provides you with two years or 60,000 miles of complimentary oil changes. So you don't even have to worry about it. Um, they also offer a program, now one of the most important programs is the Priority Service Maintenance Program. So you're not in the uh, maintenance business. You're not doing service on your trucks. So you can actually pay up front and get fixed service and fixed parts costs, bundle it together for a set duration, and uh, it's gonna be hedging against inflation, so you're not gonna have increased parts prices throughout your ownership. And if you sell the truck or you trade it in before that term is up, you get reimbursed for what you don't use on that program. So it's a really nice deal. Mm -hmm. So I am going to close this down. I mean, there's transmission fluid here. You can check your oil real easily, but I assume you have a shop for that. I do. Perfect. So. I'm gonna push this handle in here and just uh, give it a nice tug down using both hands. <laughs> and lock that cab back into place. And we'll lock this down here. So now we'll show you the inside of the cab. Again, super wide door openings. One thing I didn't mention is having this cab over design set over the axle like this, the wheel cut angle is incredible. So on this particular chassis, the 19 and a half inch wheels, your curb to curb radius is gonna be about 45 feet. I mean, that's turning on a dime. Okay. Wall yeah. to wall with the cab is about 50 feet wow. approximately. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's gonna be incredible in the city. Yeah. So same features over here. A um, Couple things I'll note. We've got brake fluid here. Your seat is going to be adjustable with a lever below the back adjusts here. You can move the steering wheel up and down to get comfortable. There is a driver suspension seat you could add if you were building a truck. Um, if you're doing longer haul or bumpier roads, sometimes that helps. Yeah. And then there are seat covers to protect your investment. This seat cover design in here is new and it helps protect, like cover some of the wear and stains or the look of Right. wear on them. So I'll have you climb up here and I'll meet you on the other side okay. and kind of check out some of the features sure, inside. Sure, sure, sure. Alrighty, so notice how much you can see outside. So in your F550, your visibility is going to begin nearly 20 feet or more. Yeah. And this is Suzu, you're seeing about eight feet in front of the, yeah, in front of the cab. Mm -hmm. So, so much safer. And when the doors are shut, like I said, the, the windows are cut so low, so that helps. Speaking of safety features, this system here, this has two cameras in it. This is the Advanced Driver Assistance System. Um, that is noted on these 2022 models, um, and it includes a pedestrian warning and automatic emergency braking system. Oh, yeah. So pedestrians or objects, you'll get an audible and a visual alert on the dash there. Okay. This also has a lane departure warning system too. So if you're veering over the lines or your drivers are a little bit squirrely, audible and visual alerts there Excellent. as well. That's yeah. Nice so our cruise control settings, our distance indicator settings here, that lane departure, I mean, these are gonna be set up pretty similar to your F550 with controls. The standard AM, FM radio does have a USB connector. Okay. There's an upgrade 
a lot of trucks these days come with screens, you can get a seven inch color touch screen in there for an upgrade. Tons of storage in the cab here. So we've got storage overhead, storage behind. There is a bench here to eat lunch or finish paperwork. Right, right. Like signing off on your order of your next Isuzu. <laughs> so I hope I covered enough of the features here. Um, great truck, pretty simple, but at the same time, I mean, it's gonna be an incredible investment and your acquisition cost is probably gonna be lower than a Ford. Thanks so much for looking, Thank Vince. I appreciate you. Very much. I appreciate you. Very much.